Time to install an air horn in the Toyota Tacoma, and I'm giving one of these away. Stay tuned. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty excited here. I've got a a train horn. This is billed as a train horn, a 150 decibel air horn train horn uh, that I'm going to be installing in my Toyota Tacoma back here. Now, first of all, this comes from a company called Horn Kings, and I have a discount code for you. Rob Motive, 15% off. Check them out. It's a great deal. Looks like an awesome little horn. We're going to find out. Also, I'm going to be giving one of these away. So somewhere in this video, there will be instructions as to how you can enter to win one of these. So stay tuned for that. Now, let me show you what I've got here. First of all, it comes in a box, looks just like this. And what you get is the horn itself. I like to think of it as a trumpet. Look at that thing. Massive. Uh, you get a little uh, air pump here. And then, of course, all the wiring and stuff, little relay, all that good stuff that you need to go ahead and put it in. Now, I will say the way I'm going to do mine, and I did a video on this just the other day, I'm going to hook mine through a momentary switch separate from the horn system in the truck. You could hook it directly into the horn if you wanted to. There's instructions on how to do that, but I'm not doing it that way. Now, what I'm looking to do here... You guys can see I obviously have the grill off just to make things easier. I'm going to actually feed that down through this area right here, the horn. I'm going to bolt it in here and then I'm going to mount the air pump right here and then connect it all up on the other side of the front of the truck here, including my wiring that I've got sitting up there for the momentary switch. So first things first, got to go ahead and get the horn mounted in here. And again, I'm just going to stick it down through this slot and I'm going to bolt it through one of these two holes. Haven't decided which one yet. And then we'll mount the air compressor or the air pump rather right here. Okay, got it screwed in, bolted in. And conveniently, like right here, right there, there is a threaded hole that matches up with the so or the hardware rather, the software, the hardware that comes with the kit. So I was able to just screw this screw in through one of these holes, and that's it. And down there, um, you can see there's plenty of room for it. It does sit uh, close to the lighting fixture there, but not right on top of it. So plenty of room down there, and uh, fits in there good. And you're also able on the back to go ahead and uh, put a bolt on the other side of it down there. I know you probably can't see it right there. You could put a bolt on the other side just to secure it up. Now I have to mount the air pump and connect the wiring up to that. So we're going to do that next. Okay, at this point I'm going to go ahead and connect part of the relay up to the air pump before I mount it, obviously. And on your relay here you have a yellow wire and it is actually number, numbered rather, and these are all numbered. Uh, let's see. It is number 87 on your relay. So if you happen to get one and the wires aren't connected, this is number 87 right here, the yellow wire. That's going to connect to the positive terminal on the air pump right here. And then this other yellow wire we have is for ground. It's going to connect on the other terminal and then we're going to ground this to a bolt down there, maybe even the one that we're attaching it with. And then the hose of course is going to go on the outlet here and connect up to the horn itself or the trumpet part. I'll call it the trumpet part. All right, here's where we're at now. I put just a screw in on an already threaded slot right there with a bolt on the back. This just has an, a little hanger kind of thing on it. So it just kind of slides over like that. That's it. And then I did drill a hole. I know, curse me. I drilled a hole here because I'm going to ground here. And then I also have to ground the relay, which is there which I'm thinking I'm going to mount maybe right here. That's my plan anyway. So I think I'm just going to double side tape it. I'm not concerned about it coming off. If you want, you could drill a hole or screw into one of these other holes if you want and extend the wires. I mean, you can put that relay really anywhere. Ideally, probably would put it inside the bay here, but uh, 
I'm going to go ahead and put it right down here, right next to the air compressor. And then, because of the way this fastens on, I am going to put a couple of zip ties around this, just uh, here and here to kind of hold it. I mean, it really shouldn't go anywhere anyway. It's on there pretty securely, and I'm going to tighten that bolt from the back. So, it should be pretty good. Next up, i got to ground this. We're going to put the cover back on here, like this. It just pulls out. So, I'm going to put the cover back on and uh, put the wiring through and then going to go ahead and wire it up to the switch then we'll connect it to power and it should be good to go we'll be back okay got uh, everything set up the way that i want it i did zip tie the air compressor or the air pump in there not just to hold it um, the tubing is run plugged into the air pump here and then over there on the other side of the horn well, i'm grounded right here so that should be cool uh, we did plug in the relay to the air pump at the bottom, so now all I have to do is run this red wire uh, to the battery power. We'll do that last. And then this black wire, wire has to connect up to my switch. One quick note, I did have to take a little bit off the edge of uh, this cover here. Not too bad, we're still able to fit it in up here at the top and down here at the bottom but did have to notch this out to accommodate where I put the air pump. So next up, I'm going to hook up the wiring to the switch and then the power for both the uh, relay itself and then the other leg or other end of the power for the switch. So if you didn't know, there's two wires running to the switch, uh, which is just a momentary switch. One connects up to the power at the relay, which is actually, uh, let's see, which is actually there. It, I labeled it switch, you might see. So it's actually right here. This will go to one of my switch wires. And then the other end of the switch wire will hook up to the battery. This hooks up to the battery. This is the power for the relay. And that completes the circuit and I should be done. That's it, I am done. The truck is put back together, as you can see. I'll show you real quick uh, the wiring and stuff. Here is the horn, the, the noisy part, right? And down there, if you can see, is the wiring right down there. I think it's pretty neat. And then all my stuff put back in here. I had it all out. Um, and then the wiring to the battery, of course, it's fused, and then my uh, power wire running to the switch inside which if you hadn't seen before there is the switch inside the blue switch to match the truck of course um, gotta tell you obviously I have uh, I have tested it myself and it's awesome I'm gonna test it for you guys here uh, in just a second but in the meantime, I had mentioned that you can win one, and I have one right over here, all packaged and ready to go for one lucky person. Now, what do you have to do to win? Well, it's really pretty simple. First of all, you need to follow me on this channel. It is Rob Motive. You need to subscribe to my other channel if you aren't already. That channel is Rob Motive JT. Rob Motive JT. It's about my Jeep Gladiator. Secondly, you need to follow me on Instagram. Now, that means you have to have an, an Instagram account, right? It's the only way I can verify that you, or whoever wins, is the winner. Uh, because I will contact you on Instagram for some information. We'll get to that in a second. You need to comment below this video, this video, with your Instagram account name. If you don't include your name exactly as it appears on the Instagram, on the Instagram, then you can't win. Um, and again, the reason for that is because I will contact you on Instagram via the name that you provide. So make sure you get it right. Otherwise, somebody else is going to win, whoever you put down. So all the dashes and dots and all that. Very, very important. It'll be a random draw one week from the date of this video. So when this video first airs, um, I will contact you, as I mentioned, at your Instagram name that you provide to get your shipping address. You have 24 hours to respond to me once I contact you with your shipping address. If you don't contact me, then I'll do another drawing and give it away to somebody else. That's it. It's that simple. Now, let's go ahead. I'm going to uh, sit the camera down and I'll, I'll honk the regular horn because, again, I did this separately. And then I'll honk the new train horn. Let me know what you think.
Okay, there you go. I don't know if the video will do it justice, but I gotta say, uh, it is markedly louder. It is awesome. Uh, you can't beat it for the price. Again, I'll leave a link down below if you wanna check it out over at uh, Horn Kings. Um, they are the ones that uh, produce or sell this at least. Um, again, there is a discount code for them. It is Rob Motive for 15% off if you wanna go over there and check this out. Um, I love it. I think it's awesome. The install was not too bad. I'll leave a couple of pictures here at the end showing the relay connections, if you will. Uh, it's pretty easy. And just think about it when you do it. It makes sense once you do it. Again, you don't have to add a, a secondary switch if you don't want to. You can run it right off of your uh, existing horn connection if you want. I just wanted something separate. So now I have really two or three horns, I guess, because the stock setup has two, it looks like. Anyway, leave a comment, let me know, just something fun to do, you know, I think it's pretty cool and no way are people not going to hear me anymore. Uh, let me know what you think. Also, real quick, I do have two other, cha two other channels. Uh, Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. And Rob Motive Civic, all about my adventures with the Honda Civic Type R and the Honda Civic Sport Hatch. Do me a favor, check them out. If you like them, please subscribe. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos and the announcement of the winner once uh, this contest starts. And don't forget to click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye. We're gonna scare the wife. Loser.